Hello, my friend. We're counting down. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why? In Psalm 23, I bet you were thinking she's finished with it. She forgot. Uh uh. We're going to end talking about what was and is being prepared for us. Why does the Lord prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies? Remember how I shared that we need to take time, study the word, go word for word if we need to, and find out without rushing, what does he mean? What message was he trying to share? Now let's speed it up because I have a limited amount of time. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. He had painted this picture of a shepherd preparing a table for his sheep. And the Lord uses that because every word of God is important. And he tells us several things in that passage. One is there is an enemy that's present. John 10.10, 10, we find that the word tells us the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. And then it goes on to say, Jesus said, I have come that they may have life. They, us, may have life and have it to the full or have it abundantly. The Lord prepares a table before me that I might have life to the full in the presence of my enemies. The enemy is present looking for a way constantly to steal, to kill, to destroy. He's a thief, meaning I am not rightfully his. I don't belong to him, neither do you. Nothing that we have belongs to him. He's a thief. The word says so. And he's trying to destroy what we have. And part of that destruction is our relationship, our life, our communication with our savior, our shepherd. But in the midst of that, it tells us it's in the presence of who else? Of our Savior. Meaning that even though the enemy is present, so is our Savior. He can do the enemy nothing to us. Nothing to us that the Lord is not aware of. It is on us as sheep of his pasture, not to protect or defend ourselves, but to stay close, to be in his presence, to be in the shadow of the almighty, because our shepherd sees us. He knows us. He's there to protect us, to comfort us, to rest where he puts us, because there's a real enemy stalking us, wanting to destroy us. And our Lord is there. And his plans for us are good. At the table where we recline with him, he's providing. He's protecting. He has invited us. You know, not a thief. He's providing the goods. He's satisfying us. This is what the enemy is trying to destroy. He has prepared it. Preparation takes time. So, for the next three days, we're diving into this and we're joining this with when Jesus reclined at the table with the disciples and when he instituted the Last Supper. Because this verse is also a prophecy of that because the Bible works that way. Jesus did that in the presence of his enemy when the enemy entered Judas to kill, steal, and destroy. And he did it in our presence for the enemy not to have any control or victory over us. Do come back tomorrow as we get a little bit deeper and conclude on Christmas Eve. And then we end where I will leave a prayer after midnight on Christmas Day as we end and conclude in victory our season of purposefully meditating.
Thank you, my friend, for joining me and blessing me with your presence. Peace.